So, Jared Gillett won Wolverhampton Wanderers 2. The biggest win of the season as far as Wolves are concerned. And probably the win that might feel the best. Maybe closely rivalling last week's for Wolves fans. Because, wow, what a second half performance. And what a turnaround with 10 men against Southampton today in the Premier League. That was Lopetegui's Bristol City moment right there. And hopefully we can have so many more great memories under this manager. Because now Wolves... Look like they've finally started in the 22-23 season. It only took them the first 17 or so games to get going between Davis and Lage, whatever that was for the opening part of the season. But the fact is now Lopetegui has come in and he has rejuvenated this group beyond, I think, anybody's wildest expectations. I think some people may have thought that we would get a bit better, but we couldn't have got much worse. But the improvement has been there for all to see under Lage or... Even Nuno beforehand uh, in certain times. Wolves would have buckled today after you announced 10 men being 1-0 down. I lost 2 or 3-0, but they didn't today. They hung in there. They stuck at it against what is, in truth, a, a very poor Southampton team. We have to all accept that. But it was just a fight and the resilience to stay in the game. And even after Wolves equalised, you were there thinking, well, Southampton are desperate given the whole situation that Jones was in and his the whole predicament at the moment. You thought Wolves could easily... Go away. Got a bit of an Everton feeling towards the end where you think, if we go up the other end, we could easily score here. And we did score. And what a goal it was by the man that was freed at last. Now you see why Leon were so desperate to get Joe Gomez instead of Wolves. What a player. What a goal. On your debut, off the bench, away from home with 10 men last minute. It's what's to, what dreams are made of, really, uh, for him and for Wolves uh, after an exceptional second half display. But I just want to go back to the first half before I give Wolves any more praise. Because there is an issue, and it's a massive one. And it's the red card for Mario Lamina. Jared Gillett is a disgrace. It's, it's borderline cheating. It's very suspicious. It's very suspicious indeed. And it should be really looked into. Because what on earth was he given for? Dissent? Uh, not even that. It was for approaching the referee in an aggressive manner. Seriously, Ruben Nevis does that every single week and doesn't even get booked. Less known booking a player when he's on a booking already, which was soft, by the way, need I add. And Gilla also booked Semedo, Aignori, for their first fouls of the game. Wolves have four yellow cards for six fouls in the first half today, uh, up to a point. It was unbelievable. And it absolutely, it was disgraceful, really. Matinho and Nevis were right up in his face. And yet he decided to book Lamina, the man who was coming over to him from 20 yards away. After he had already booked him for a tackle a few minutes before. Do me a favour, honestly, it's disgraceful. It's absolutely disgraceful. Like, I know Wolves won today and it's an incredible result. Like, seriously, you cannot overestimate how big this is for Wolves today. Given the fact they were 1-0 down and down to 10 men after a good goal by Alcaraz. Uh, for Southampton, may I add as well, I also thought I was really impressed by Suleimana, the new signing there. But... You have to hope now that they are, I wouldn't say past the point of no return, because of course the Premier League is, is mad and teams can go and win and they'll get a new manager now. And I'm sure they'll get that bounce that every team does tend to get, but you've got to be looking to finish above them now and we have a good healthy gap on them. But back to that, back to Wolves, you're saying it's it really is disgraceful refereeing, sending Lamina off. You've got to look at it, is it something deeper, you know? I saw plenty of Wolves fans on Twitter saying certain things about it, which I won't say on here. But, you know, like, it could be assumed. It really could be assumed. Uh, but apart from that, Wolves were absolutely excellent. I thought Diego Costa, when he came on, uh, about 10 minutes into the second half, was absolutely brilliant. Put his weight about, threw himself about, and managed to just be of use to Wolves, despite not scoring or assisting yet for us. He He is a handy asset to have off the bench. Um, the cross in for the equaliser, of course, Triore in there. Costa should have scored, but it was blocked. And Triore trying to bundle it in, and eventually Benderick did his job for us, um, which is great. Obviously, 1 1. And then their crowd started getting restless, and we took advantage. And how emphatic was that goal by Joe Gomez? Honestly, absolutely brilliant. I thought Bueno was good when he came off the bench as well today. Uh, added to that, I knew it difficult enough first half, as did Nelson Semedo, but. Wolves managed to get there in the end. And wow, what a goal by Gomez. I'm still I'm in disbelief, honestly. He needs to play next week now with uh, Lamina out suspended. Um, 
But really, honestly, Wolves' moment of the season, I think, that today. Because it's so big. It is so big in the context of the season and the fight against relegation. There's six points against Southampton now. And Julian Lopetegui has nine points from the last four games. Ten from the last five. Seriously, seriously good return for us. Like, honestly. 13 from the, I think, seven that he's been in charge for. That's honestly revolutionary for Wolves. And he has changed this club so much. But there's still so much work to do. Wolves know that. And we have to beat Bournemouth next week. Beat Bournemouth, then on to Fulham and keep going and keep going and keep going because the season's relentless. We're only on 23 points now, 17 points from the remaining games. Should see Wolves safe and over the line, which is what the objective should be this season. We took a massive, massive step towards that today after Jao Gomez was freed. Thank God. Jared Gillis a disgrace, by the way. Should never, ever ever referee a Wolves match again today. I want a full explanation for that yellow, for that red card, as I'm sure many Wolves fans and Julian Lopetegui will. But at the end of the day, we overcame him. We overcame Southampton. And it's things are on the up. Southampton won Wolves 2. Finish Wolves 2, Southampton 1. A very different um, video than I was expecting to do half, at half-time. Um very strange first half we were in uh, today. Uh, it started and we were on a bit of a back foot straight away from their route one long ball to the big the big lad up front and we just couldn't seem to really figure out how to defend against that. Um, and that was the story for the first half really. Uh, that and I must say I know we we should look at games and and, and the refereeing re, refereeing performances, but. Today was an embarrassment uh, for the for the referee and his linesman. Um, I thought that they were all dreadful. Um, how he's put Lamina for the first tackle he's made, and then for asking a question uh, to send him off for a second book of an offence is laughable, really. Um, so we're already under the cosh, um, and we go one nil down for a good finish. But what I will say is he should not be allowed to get. Two shots off from, you know, the, from the same area, straight away. One's blocked, and then it should get, it should get cleared, and then we don't clear it, and then he scores a second. So we're going down um, at half time, and you you fear for the worst against a really, really, really poor Southampton side. Um, like I said, they had one ball. I didn't really have any other threat apart from their number twenty, or I thought I had a good game. Um, but we took him out of the game and then we took the big lad out of the game second half and wow what a second half performance the bollocks from these boys today to go and win us the three points was brilliant to see and if that is a fight for the rest of the season I've got no no worries whatsoever about staying in this league um, so the goals it's brilliant from Bueno uh, Another sub. He's got right today to take eight Nuri off. I thought he had a really poor first half. He's brought Bueno on, who's, who, who who attacked and put a lovely ball in. And Adama, who I also thought changed the game. Kind of played them at their own game, I suppose. Um, lumping it up. Route one, kind of. Um, and, and we get a scrappy goal, which, to be honest, I couldn't give a shit. It's a goal at the end of the day. And then you think... OK, well, I'm happy with a point at one each. Um, away from home with 10 men um, after such a poor first half. And then we get the, oh, my word, the little Brazilian coming on. I mean, mate went to me. Um, it, 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 here we go, a Jao Gomez winner. And lo and behold, it was. And he's bent it into the top bins and it's absolutely gone off in the away end. Um, tops off, clothes off. I'm bloody ripping me tops off and smacking me chest for the last 25 minutes. And, uh, and it's brilliant to see. And all the lads came together, worked their fucking bollocks off all game. All game. And then all of the second half was just brilliant to see. So, yeah, we take, we, we take it. Um, we move on. We've got to keep pushing. It's another tough game next week uh, in Bournemouth. They're down down amongst it as well so uh, we've got to carry on this this little bit of form that we've got 
um, and hopefully we can. So yeah, another good result today. Cheers for having me on, boys. See you later. Well, what a performance and, and what a win that was. So uh, yeah, Southampton one, Wolves two, ten man Wolves two at that. Um, didn't really start that well, I didn't think today, to be honest. We, the four man in, in midfield didn't really work. He started off with Neves, Nunes, Matinho, and Lamina all in there. Um, we seem to be lacking somebody on the left hand side, sort of central left hand side midfield. There seems to be a lot of players down the right, um, but but struggling for men down the down the left. Um, but yeah, went went one nil down. Um, Disappointing goal to concede, really. Um, but yeah, one, one nil down, which was which was disappointing. The referee in the first half had an absolute shocker. Um, every single foul that he gave, he just booked someone, um, which was just absolutely ridiculous. It was almost sent a bit of a, a laughing joke, really, that every time there was a foul, he just went and got his yellow card out and, and off he went. And started when he booked Lamina for, a, for a, what looked from where we were a bit of a nothing foul on the edge of their box bought the yellow card out and then on the I think it was on 27th minute he's then given him another booking um for for what looked like just demonstrating to him and, and Lamina wasn't happy because he got wiped out by one of the Southampton players referee didn't give the free kick he's, he's gone running up to referee and he couldn't get his yellow card and then the red out quick enough which was ridiculous really I've never in all my years of watching football seen a player get sent off for moaning at the referee and I've seen plenty of players moan at the referee so ridiculous decision he didn't get any better for the rest of the first half just booking everybody and really Wolves didn't get any better in the second in the first half sorry either um was just poor never really got going never really got into the game did some okay work on the ball I don't think we really challenged the keeper Kuna, I thought, had one of his, his worst games, really, since since joining the club, which I didn't think was his fault. I thought he didn't play to his strengths. Kept lumping the ball up to him, and he's not the sort of striker who's going to sit there and hold the ball up. So, yeah, disappointing first half. Um, going 1-0 down. Brings on Adama and Bueno in the second half, at the start of the second half. Um, Adama, for me in particular, changed the game. Just gave us an outlook going forward, especially when we were down to 10 men. We could lump the ball down that channel, and to be fair to me, ran after it all, all, all afternoon long. Um, their fullback just panicked every time the ball got sent in down that side. Um, really didn't know what to do and, and, and just didn't, just tried to get something on it every time, which um, was, was fair enough. And, and he did okay, their fullback, but really got us up the pitch. A lot of the times we ended up with a, with a throw in, which, like I say, just, just got us up the pitch. Um, Jao Gomez, what, what more can you say? The, the guy's turned Leon down for us, stuck to his word, come come to Wolves, and he gets a goal on his debut. Debuts don't come much better than that. I, I thought he'd missed it um, the first time. His first chance wasn't his fault, just got blocked by the defender, but the ball's dropped to him again, and he's he's bent it into the top corner with a, a wonderful finish. And as you can imagine, the, the crowd go absolutely mental um, to turn it around from, from one nil up, sorry, from one nil down, to two one up with ten men, um, massive three points, great performance. Their first, our first goal really was laughable by Southampton. Um, the player should have should never end up at the back of the net. Southampton player should have cleared it easily, but I'm, I'm glad he didn't and he stuck it in his own net. But special mention for Lopetegui really, who absolutely changed the game at, at half time and with his subs in the second half, brilliant substitution, changed the game around. And I say fa fair play to the lads, never gave up, kept going despite a poor first half. Brilliant second half, massive 2-1 win away at Southampton with down to 10 men and sends us up the league a little bit further and, and long may it continue. Well, um, I don't know how we've managed that. Uh, I have to admit when it was, what, 25 minutes in, Lamina had that red card, I was ready to turn the game off and I think if it hadn't have been for the fans react that I'm doing now, uh, I would have done. Um, I'm, I'm di in disbelief that felt like such a kind of Nuno performance, Nuno championship performance. It reminded me very much of Middlesbrough, despite the fact that we were chasing the goal rather than hanging on to them. Um, we haven't seen the steal from that team before Lopetegui came in for months and months and months, kind of through Large, through Steve Davis. Yeah, you hadn't seen that, that steal since kind of Nuno had the drive for this team. And how we've walked away with three points from from Southampton today is, is unbelievable. Um, the first half was incredibly scrappy. Lots of fouls going in all over the place. Some of them weren't actual fouls, but were given so by referee Jared Gillett today, who I will come on to later. 
Um, but yeah, it was scrappy. I think we I think we started with four central midfielders in a kind of diamond formation, with Nunes off the left, Martinho playing in the ten, and yeah, I, I just I'm, I'm not sure I was a huge fan of it to be honest. It was just too condensed with the number of players that Southampton had through the middle as well. It just didn't work. There was not enough width for us, I think, personally. Um, but that was rectified in the second half by Lopetegui. I think the necessary changes were made. Admittedly, they were forced because of uh, Lamina's red card somehow. How that is a red card in any shape or form whatsoever. I mean, I think we've got away with it today because... Um, otherwise, you know, I, th I think Jared Gillett will get away with it actually because you know he should be called out for that more so than he will because of the the, the final result. But this first booking was a pretty innocuous challenge for me. I think so early on in the game, there's not a huge amount that you can do. But besides a warning in that kind of instance, if it was a yellow down the back of the, the Achilles, it was accidental. But okay, so that was a yellow fine. The second one. We've like we've since found out that it was because he was running aggressively towards the referee. Now, if that is the case, why are there not, you know, dissent for one is something that needs to be cracked down on more so. If it's going to be a problem for us, it's got to be a problem for everyone else. Because the amount of times that we're booked for dissent when players will scream up, swearing and blinding in kind of linesmen's faces, referees' faces, and they get away with it. Usually... It's well for for any club that isn't us really. I feel like there is a huge agenda against us at the moment, and we keep we keep fighting it. I mean, that's, a result is a result, uh, but that won't hide the fact that we will eventually lose crucial points at the latter part of this season if kind of these officiating performance carry on this way. You can't fight it for this long. I mean, we played an excellently in the second half. I think Diego Costa made a very very good impact. Um, Jao Gomez came on, looked tenacious, and the finish for his goal. I mean, you can't ask for much more from a kid his age on his debut. And it clearly meant a lot to him as well, because it looked like he was crying towards the end. So, absolutely brilliant. It sounded electric in there. I wish I was there. But three points and a place where we're very... We, we, we take a lot of points from Southampton at St Mary's, but we shouldn't have done today. But we've got them, and I think... That all that really shows the rest of the league that we're here to stay. Cheers for having me on, lads. I'll speak to you soon.